Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is red-green colorblindness is an X-link recessive trait predicts the genotypic and phenotypic outcomes of the following crosses. And here are the three variants and the first variant a woman with normal sight and no family history of colorblindness with colorblind male. So we assume that this woman has two normal X chromosomes. I am going to use green color to specify normal X chromosome with no defective allele which specifies this genetic disorder and male has colorblindness. So his genotype would be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. Of course, not the whole chromosome is going to be defective. Only one gene on this chromosome. One out of one, about 1000 genes. Now let's build simple Punnett square. Take a look what we are going to see in the progeny. So normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side, and normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. And as you see, all male progeny are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And those all female progeny are going to have one defective X chromosome because this is X-link recessive genetic disorder. So they are going to be carriers, but phenotypically they are going to be normal. They are not going to be colorblind. Next question, a woman with normal sight whose father was colorblind with a colorblind male. So take a look. He is a father of this woman. He is a mother and he this woman. And we know that her father was colorblind. So his genotype would be defective X chromosome, normal Y chromosome and genotype of the mother to normal X chromosomes. Of course, from the mother side, this woman got normal X chromosome. It doesn't matter this one or this one. But from father side, she only can get defective X chromosome. So she is obligate carrier. Her phenotype is normal, but she is a carrier 100%. So now we know that this woman is obligate carrier with normal vision. So let's put genotype of this female here on the side, one side, and we also told that male is colorblind. So his genotype would be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. Again, we build simple Punnett square and let's take a look what we are going to see in the progeny. Defective X chromosome from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side, defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side, and normal X chromosome from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome from the father side. As you see, 50% of the male progeny are going to be affected. So this male, or we can say 50% of the male progeny would be colorblind, but also 50% of the female progeny also going to be colorblind because they would have two defective alleles on both X chromosomes. 50% of the male progeny are going to be phenotypically normal, would have normal vision and 50% of their daughters also are going to have normal vision because they would have normal X chromosome because this is recessive X-link trait. 50% of the female progeny would be carriers but not going to express this genetic disorder would have normal vision. And the last question, colorblind woman with a man who has normal sight. Because we know that man has normal sight, we know that his genotype is normal X and normal Y chromosome. And female has two defective X chromosome because if she would be 
carrier would have only one defective X chromosome, she would have normal vision, but we know that she is colorblind. Let's build again simple Punnett square and let's take a look what the progeny is going to be. Defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. Defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the father side. And defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, defective X chromosome from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome from the father side. All female progeny are going to be obligate carriers, but phenotypically they would have normal vision. But all the sons of such a couple would be affected, would be color blind. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.